something magical happened. But this rarely happens by accident. Far more often, it's through consistent and regular practice. Yo, what up? How you doing? If you want to take control of your life, I highly suggest you do those things that you just saw. Notebook with a to-do list and meditation every day. So let's jump in. Okay, let's start with this one. So just simple notebook. And the way I use it is you type in three to eight things the day before and then when you wake up you just know what you do and it's it's huge you will get things done that you have been just pushing on for forever, just small things. And if you put it on the list, you do it. If somehow you're not capable of doing that, the whole list that day, the thing goes to the next day. Poof. You don't ever just take something off the list. And that's, that, that is kind of powerful because you have to think through what you put on the list. And those are the things that you probably should be doing anyway. So really good. One thing that goes on the list every day is meditation. Every day. I use this app called Headspace. First time I saw it on Netflix and there was like a guide to meditation series and I watched that and got kind of interested and then I started using this and there's a free version like you can do some small stuff but it, it won't get you where you want to go so I think it's like $60, 50, 50 euros or something like that per year for a subscription and then you have a ton of stuff. And the thing I'm most interested in is clearly meditation because it has given me so much more understanding of myself and this world. And up here I have my stats. And currently I have a 122 day streak. And I'm kind of proud of myself that I've managed to do anything for this long every day. With this one, I've done it, I think maybe two weeks more. So very powerful tools and you kind of get addicted to these tools also. And it's only good. And the thing with the meditation is, I do it about 10, 10 minutes a day. 10 minutes a day. It's like taking a shit. So. The, the amount of help and insight it gives is just huge compared to how little time it takes. And for me, before I started meditating, I thought that, yeah, yeah, whatever. And that I don't want to waste my time, but turns out it's completely the opposite. And I think that's a lesson that many things in life are, you think of it somehow and then it's totally different. So I highly suggest you check out Headspace app. This is not sponsored or anything. They're doing a great job in helping people and I just wanna share my experience so maybe you can get some help if you have anxiety or otherwise just problems with yourself because it's helping yourself that is the most important thing with meditating and stuff like that. The thing with this one is you write every evening or day or whatever, but you always write the list for the next day. And of course it's possible to add some items during the day and then you just cross it off. And the thing is, 
the thing with with making a list and crossing it off is you feel very good when you cross off something. And even if you have a free day and you know that you only need to do like some fun activities or stuff, if you put them on the list and you do it and then you cross off the list, you know that you've done the things you were supposed to do that day. So this kind of takes away the anxiety that you didn't do enough because you planned ahead and then you just do it. Basically, there are no rules to this, but I, I've, I've found that for me, it works that I list three to eight things and that's, that's pretty much enough. And they can be, sometimes it's small things, sometimes it's big things. And it always feels good to just cross over something. So I hope this gave you some new inspiration to try meditation and maybe get yourself a notebook. Thanks for watching. See you. Peace out.